Hey everybody. So today is day five. It is the 8th of May. We are doing our morning work and you notice something's missing and that's because it looks like we did our RWPW 131 already. I don't know how that happened. If you didn't do it, go ahead and do it, but it was supposed to be RWPW 131. And I do believe we already did it, so hey, you get a little bit of a break here on this Friday. Okay, so take a look at 34.5, which means what, the 34th week of school, which could be a little off. So, 421 plus 89.0, you guys, since we have a little more time, why don't you guys solve all those problems, pause me, and then come back and we will check them together. Is that a deal? Don't cheat. 384 plus 170. Okay, you're back so soon. Um, one little reminder I wanna give you regarding reading is remember all those little uh, paper booklets, those phonics library booklets that I gave you um, when you picked up everything. Um, make sure you're reading those. Some of them have lists of words on the back. Just know that that's vocabulary that you should know, okay? And practice those until you do. All right, let's see how you did. And if you forgot to do them by yourself, just pause me again, or for the first time, and then come back. I'll give you pausing time. Okay, you're back. All right, so let's look at this. Nine plus one. One more than nine. I hope you said it was 10, and that you carried the one to the tens place. I always start the big number, eight, nine, 10, 11. You don't always have to start at the top. Because remember, it doesn't matter. 8, 9, 10, 11. Two digit number, the one goes there, the 10 from the 11 goes in the hundreds place. Four plus one is five. Do you get 510? I knew you would. All right, notice we're subtracting. So you've got four, you're gonna take away one. You've got three. You've got nothing, you're gonna take away one. Whoa, what, what, I can't do that. That's because there's more on the floor. So go next door to the hundreds place, bring it over. Now you have 10. 10 minus one, you should have said was nine. One less than seven, you should have said was six. 693, okay, good. Hope you added four plus zero, nothing more, it's still four. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's what I have to do. Carry the one, three, four, five. Did you get 554? Good. Subtraction, you just were adding. Sometimes when they switch back and forth, you gotta pause for a moment, think about what you're doing. One less than eight is seven. Nine less than one would be a negative number, which we're not doing at this point. So you've gotta to go to the hundreds and borrow. Now you have 11 take away nine. Should have said was two, this was two, 227, you got them right, good. And then it says write the missing numbers, you did that before, I think they gave you, it's hard for me to tell in my book, I think they gave you 882. So what comes before two is one. 883, 884, and you keep going, 885, so you keep going 800, but once you get to 889, what's one more than that? Well, one more than nine is 10, so you have to carry that one, and that would be a nine, right? 890, 890. Then 891, what comes after 899? Well, what's one more than 99? 100. What's 800 plus 100? 900, right? 
So after 899, look at 900. 901, make sure you know 901 does not look like that, does it? No. One too many zeros. It's nine in the hundreds place, zero in the tens place, one in the ones place, 901. And then just keep going on that. All right, take a look. The school library has 600 books. Why don't you circle that 600? Probably going to be important to know. So, we probably have at least 600 books in our library, don't you think? Probably, maybe. Okay. 600 books. So, we got to circle that. I keep getting a new color every time. On Monday, children checked out 45 books. So on Monday, 45 books went bye-bye. On Tuesday, 62 books went bye-bye. How many books are in the library? Do you want to say 600 take away 45? And then subtract 62? I got a better idea. Why don't we take all the books that got checked out and see how many that is total? So your first problem should say 45 plus 62. That's how many books got checked out total. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 107 books were checked out. Okay, how many are in the library? How many are still in the library? Well, there were 600. We want to take away the 107 that got checked out. So we're going to borrow over zeros, okay? That was nice of them to let us do that. Because seven is greater than zero, you go next door, nothing. You go to the hundreds place, there you go. You can borrow, but you have to take that next door, okay? You have to drop it off at the tens. Now, the tens place can loan one ten to the ones place. I'll show you another way to do that. Ten take away seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine take away zero, five take away one. Here's another way, 600 minus 107. You need to borrow, so instead of borrowing just from the hundreds, you borrow from the 60, 60 tens. So you cross out the whole 60, that leaves 59. So you've done, eliminated that one step, and then you bring that over the one. So this is probably the way you're supposed to do it and the way you'll be taught to do it. As long as you understand that you're borrowing from the 60, you've got 59, you bring that one 10 over. You had 60 tens. Now you have 59 tens, and you get the same answer, okay? One with the other. It says, circle the past tense form of the word. Write a sentence including the word. Feel or felt. Which one means it's already happened? I feel or I felt. Felt, you're right. So you want to circle. I want blue. Where's my blue? We've got... Ah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so circle felt. And that's where you want to write a sentence. You can write any sentence you want. I'm going to write my own. You can write your own. I put, I felt dizzy when I twirled, and I would definitely. Next one is sink or sank. Did the boat sink or yesterday the boat sank? So sank is the past tense. And we can go with the small boat sank.
maybe you can do something like that. A small, well, so felt is the past tense for feel, sank is the past tense for sink. Okay, pause at any time. Okay, who gave you those new crayons? A, my friend, these, me, gift, as, bought, best crayons. Well, you've got one capital, my, that's number one. Is it my friend bought me these best crayons, or do you think it should be my best friend? I think it's my best friend. My best, number two. Friend, number three. What did your best friend do? Bought me. What did they buy you? These crayons. Why? As a gift, period. Okay, my best friend bought me these crayons as a gift. All right, so that takes care of that. And next coming up, we're going to be back to our math, chapter 21. And you're going to be on pages 473 and 474. So you can get those ready and I will be back with you, okay? I'll see you in the gym.